Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Andrew Smith, and I'm one of four actuaries here on the staff at UCD. And I'm going to tell you a bit about our program in actuarial and financial studies, which is code DN230. What will you learn if you come here and study uh, actuarial work? Well, you'll learn that all the foundations, the probability, the economics, the statistics, the linear algebra, the basic mathematics that some of the science students learn. But in addition, you'll learn a lot of commercial applications relating to the financial world. So here's one example, and that relates to motor insurance. If you drive a car in Ireland, then legally you have to have insurance. And if you've applied for insurance at a young age, you'll find it's very expensive. So why is that? Well, it's because statistically, younger drivers have a higher frequency of crashes, and therefore the insurance claims are bigger. But your frequency of crashes doesn't just depend on your age. It's also influenced by where you live, what kind of car you drive, uh, your occupation, and many other attributes of the driver and of the vehicle. Uh, so firms, insurance firms, have enormously complicated models, which they use to predict the cost of claims from different kinds of drivers in order to charge accurate premiums. And you'll learn a lot about those kinds of models. And you'll learn not just about the mathematics of the models, but also the commercial implications. For example, um, in insurance, um, the law dictates that you have to charge men and women the same premiums. Um, to do so any different would be illegal. And yet there are statistical differences in the pattern of claims for motor insurance. So how do insurers resolve that? What is the impact on society and on drivers of any cross subsidies in insurance prices? Give another application. Um, I spent several years in the dealing room of an investment bank and they were buying and selling financial instruments. And here I've got a, a table which shows the share prices of Ireland um, for the last 20 or so years. And you'll learn how to analyze those. You'll learn how to do the work of an investment manager who is picking stocks, trying to buy ones that are cheap and selling ones that are dear in order to make a profit for your clients and also for yourself. So those are some of the things which you'll learn how to do when you're here. What happens when you leave? So before I came to UCD three years ago, I was a partner in a major consulting firm and I had a large number of actuaries working for me. And during my actuarial career, I worked in many places around the world. Uh, I was based in London, um, but I worked in Dublin. I worked in Paris and Frankfurt. I worked in Moscow. I worked in Warsaw. I worked in New York. I worked in Chicago. I worked in Toronto. I worked in Sydney. I worked in Hong Kong and many other places around the world on projects for this consulting firm. So an actuarial skill can take you around the world. And what was I doing? You might imagine that most of my work related to insurance and pensions, because that's what you think of actuary work. Uh, but that wasn't the only thing I did. Uh, I advised governments in Central Asia about setting up credit scoring for their central bank to control the quality of bank loans and to protect against insolvencies. I advised companies that were bidding to construct nuclear power stations, not only um, in the UK, but around the world, of course, not in Ireland, because we don't have any nuclear power stations here. And those involve delicate negotiations with governments who are very anxious not to be stuck with a decommissioned nuclear power station, the enormous cost of taking it to pieces. So there were really complicated financing arrangements. and You needed teams of actuaries to understand that. Um, I analysed portfolios of student loans to understand the impact on the university sector and the impact on potential investors in those loans who saw them as assets. So there's an enormous variety of things that actuaries do around the world. And having travelled the world, of course, as you can see from this video, I am now in my attic in Dublin. So thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope we'll soon receive your application for actuarial and financial studies, which is DN 230.